Hey guys, welcome to PC Perspective. Today we're going to do a quick video to talk about a brand new graphics card that's actually launching today. This is the MSI GTX 780 Lightning graphics card. Now, if you're familiar with MSI's graphics cards at all, you'll know that Lightning usually indicates their highest end, overclocking friendly, LN2 friendly graphics card designs, and that's exactly what we have here. If you look at it, um, it's definitely a new design for the MSI Lightning series. If you look at the outside of it, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't particularly look very impressive, although it does have a very beefy cooler. It's got a tri-fan design. It's actually got two 90 millimeters and an 80 millimeter in the center. These two are paired together on one fan controller. This is on a different fan controller. Uh, it actually has uh, an all-new cooler as well that we'll talk about. It's got uh, two 8-pin power connectors. It's got the kind of standard now NVIDIA output configuration with dual DVI, a full-size display port, and a full-size HDMI port. Um, the cooler that is new here is actually, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty heavy graphics card. It actually has seven super pipes, seven uh, eight millimeter heat pipes that go across the entirety of, uh, of the heat sink here. It's got the three fans, as we pointed out, that uh, are, despite the fact that they're a little bit smaller than you might have expected, they're not loud at all, as we show in our full testing. Uh, the back plate here acts as a heat sink as well as making the card more rigid and stiff so it doesn't worry about flex when it's actually installed in a system in its normal position. Uh, it is a, an, an impressive design on the board itself in terms of power delivery. Now I don't have, uh, I'm not going to take this particular one apart, but we'll show you some photos of what they've done. They've introduced their military class four components, which essentially are improved capacitors, improved MOSFETs, uh, a lot of stuff like that, that, that really adds to uh, the design and power delivery of the GTX 780 Lightning. And all that means is if you're an overclocker, if you're worried about stability at high clock speeds, that's going to help with all those things. You know, MSI continue, continues to use their, what they call the GPU reactor, which is this kind of, uh, it's, it's basically a plastic cover over some larger capacitors than normal that help give uh, more power and cleaner power directly to the GPU, which is, which is obviously on the other side of that. For those of you that may be interested in the really extreme overclocking LN2, they actually have a switch on the top uh, that will take away some of the constraints, the 200 uh, watt core power limit, the 250 watt TDP limit, the 240 amp current limit. Those are kind of out the door with this. When you switch to LN2 mode, it actually goes back into standard clock speeds, but it has a 900 watt core power limit, an 800 amp current limit, and uh, what they call an unknown wattage TDP limit. Now it'll be curious to see what NVIDIA does with this because they've kind of shut previous card vendors down for doing things like this. We'll see what happens uh, in the long run on that. In terms of overclocking capability, there's a lot of headroom on this. It clocks at higher speeds out of the box, 980 megahertz by default. Uh, the reference speed is 863 base clock. You've got some headers here, V checkpoints, so you can check voltages of GPU, memory, and the auxiliary uh, voltage levels you know, directly with a voltmeter. Uh, the, the new afterburner software will let you adjust all three of those voltages in software. And actually there are, triple, uh, there are three different temperature monitors on the card itself, one, one that measures GPU temperature, memory area temperature, and VRM temperature so that you can measure that directly in the afterburner software as well. The price on this card is particularly high. It's a GTX 780, uh, which the reference ones retail for $649. This is going to be on sale for $749, so it's a $100 premium over your standard GTX 780. That gets you higher clock speeds, so better default performance out of the box, uh, but you also get really what you if you're going to buy this card, you're interested in the over-engineering, you're interested in the, the, the extra power delivery, the headroom you'll have for overclocking, whether it's on air or water or LN2 that you'll be able to take advantage of down the road. That's really the user that should be interested in a card like the MSI uh, GTX 780 Lightning. should note that overclocked, even just out of the box, performance of this card is now very close to that of a reference NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan, which sells for $999. So even though it is a $100 premium over the 780, it's $250 less than the GTX Titan. So depending on where your graphics card budget is, if it's at that extreme high end, 
this could be considered a value in that area. And plus, you know, we overclocked it a little bit further. We actually, I think we added another 140 megahertz offset to it. And then you're talking about even better performance than a GTX Titan with half the frame buffer. So uh, there's a lot more to talk about with this graphics card. I encourage you to go to PCPer.com, use the link below uh, to go there and read the full review. It's got all the benchmarks, got all the photos, all the discussion about the hardware and components built into this. And uh, we'll see you later at PC Perspective.